Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Let's Play with Wang. I'm your host, Slick Wang, doing the regrowth with my snorkel on all the time. Never, ever, ever, ever take it off. Gets a little foggy, and I'm sure my breath stinks coming out the top, because if you never take it off, you can't brush your teeth. But, you know, you never know when you might fall into water. Um, welcome back. I've done a fair amount of work. Um, just kind of grindy work and it's it's stuff that I I do off camera partly because I'm I'm sure you guys would be bored just watching me for example take out all the cracked sand in here and replace it with dirt and then like up here um, I took off a layer or two might have just been one I don't remember uh, but I do that stuff totally off camera in part because I'm sure it's very boring to watch um, but also because it's kind of my meditation time it's kind of, it's my chance to just sort of, I don't know, be alone in my head and just, I don't know, meditate, basically. Uh, but anyway, uh, this area is cleared off nice and flat because this is going to be the site of our home. Um, I have a couple of ideas for how I want our, our home to be, but right now it's just totally idea phase. Um, so I'll probably spend a little bit of time in creative, just playing with some structures, some shapes, um, and kind of seeing seeing what I like. Um, but, yeah, as you can see, spent a good amount of time replacing the cracked sand with dirt. I've probably gone through so far, I'm going to say, 10 to 15 stacks worth of dirt, maybe. Um, did a little bit of work in here. Uh, yeah, we're okay. So you might be asking yourselves, how is this, how is this still tilled? He didn't do it while we were watching. Well, huh, little sneaky sneaky. You guys like that? Yeah, behind the wall, I, I tested it, and sure enough, it works. Um, it doesn't care if there's stuff in the way, so I just basically dug out there, put water in, and tilled, and yeah, it's all just sitting there. So waiting to be, waiting to be planted. Um, what's What's going on? What's attacking me down here? Did I get something? I don't think I got anything. I don't know. Um, but anyway, haven't gone to the second floor, and yeah, I'm kind of debating on my layout down there. I might just go, I might just go cramped and ugly. Who knows? We'll see. Um, Crop-wise, moving right along, and what do we got? Nope, I don't want mandrake. I want the belladonna to grow. So let's just let belladonna grow. That's the one bad thing. See, this has a growth, too. Um, this should have caught up, but it didn't. But, yeah. When you want them to, to start crossbreeding and mutating, um, both plants have to be fully grown in order for there to even be a chance. So, we'll just wait. We'll wait. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? Belladonna, blackberry. Uh-huh. I forget what else I'm growing. Growing a few things. Um, I got... Some essence berry bushes, which seem to have unlocked another quest, was kind of neat. Right over here. Little lies underground for you, except scary monsters and death. Why would you ever go very far down there? Yeah, so I think it picked up on that and opened this thing up, and it says, Hey, get 16 of these berries. We'll give you some really cool stuff. So this will be our first time seeing any metals. And it gives us six more of these bushes, so that's awesome. Um, I'm thinking if we ever are able to get an anvil, we should be able to enchant stuff pretty well. So anyway, let's get down to it. Uh, last episode, we were following along our quest path here, and we found it's essential. So we're going to make essence seeds, um, and I'm very excited to do that. So let's find... Um, is this where I left? Hmm. I don't remember where I left them. In all honesty, a lot of time has passed since I've been holding on to seeds. Um, did I put them in here? Aha! Uh -huh. Yep, there we go. Alright, now. Last episode, um, right as I was ending, I actually checked to see if I could throw these in. And we had a we had very strange symbol... Aha, uh -huh, now it's a check mark. Last time it was like a yellow thing with a check mark, so I don't know what that was all about. So I ended up breaking the diluted mana pool, which was a 
pardon my French, but uh, <laughs> we lost all the mana we had accumulated because it does not hold on to it. And, uh, well, it made us put down this other one, so we did that. Now let's get ourselves some Essence Seeds. Ba-bing! Love Magical Crops. Love it. Boom. Oh, yeah. So Essence Dust, huh? You want me to get some Essence Dust? I got your Essence Dust right here. Let's get this bad boy planted. Boom. We'll let him grow. As a matter of fact, I wonder, can we bone meal him? I believe by default, uh, bone meal does not help the magical crops. You have to have specific magical fertilizer. We'll try it anyway. We'll see what happens. And... <laughs> oh, it worked! Lovely! Lovely. Let's put you back. Give me that. Boom, baby. Yes. I'll take that. I'll take that all stinking day. And let's do that. Well, actually, are we even going to need to do that? Yeah, you know what? We should do that. Um, let me get you grown. I don't think you guys are going to mutate. You better not. And in fact... Let's just take, let's do that, because I want you to spread, okay? You spread. Now, let's see. Claim reward, Ender Pearl and Essence Seeds. Lovely. So natural essence, we get nature seeds. Now, number of useful plants are providing troublesome to obtain. You wonder how you could employ essence to create these, but a synthetic means of doing so evades you. Maybe you might manage it by breeding crops. So nature seeds, if I recall, is essence plus sugar. Oh, look at that. How is my memory, huh? How is my memory? It is fantastic. Uh, okay. Let's go here. Excuse me. Uh, okay. Let's plant... Let's plant essence seeds right there. We'll let you guys grow. I'm not in any kind of big hurry to accomplish that quest. Um, red mushroom spores, brown mushroom spores. Well, that's nice. I don't have to breed for those. I don't know what a lily pad's going to do for me. Um, one thing that kind of sucks, and I'm open to suggestion here. How the hell do I kill Endermen? Um, I've managed to kill two or three Ender Minis. But so far, those are the only guys that I've been finding. So I don't know if maybe we need to progress in the witchery aspect to where we can change biomes and get one of those... Oh, hello. Hello. Infusion, ha. Huh. Hmm. Anyway, um... Yeah, I don't know if maybe we need to change it so that way we get that biome that spawns just a buttload of Endermen. Because uh, I have not seen a single normal Enderman yet. Um, they just, they don't appear, ever. So, yeah, I'm open to suggestions on that one, guys. Now, let's take one more look. So we need to make a Mana Pearl. Uh-huh, Mana Pearl, Mana Pearl we can do. Let's see. I think we can do. We're going to find out. I don't know how much mana this thing is going to take. How's that? Oh, it's good. It's good. That's how good it is. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Detection task. A weak infusion stone. Mm-hmm. Infusion. Oh, hello. Okay. That's neat. Okay, so we're integrating... Neat. Integrating our crops. Cool. So mana pearl plus some more of that essence dust. All right. That shouldn't be too hard to do. Let's see. I feel like there was something else here. A runic altar. Runic. Uh-huh. Okay, so you take the mana pearl plus all the living rocks. So let's actually get one more of these. Because right now it looks like one's going to an infusion stone. Hey. Hey, bro. Thank you. One's going to an infusion stone, and the other one's going to be used in this recipe, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, here we go. 
Boom, boom, boom. Runic Altar. Something very interesting. I have never been this far um, in the Batania deal. So Floral Fertilizer, Mana Pearl. That tells me we're probably going to need a lot more flowers. Uh-huh. Written in stone. Ooh. So we get to make runes. Key usage of the runic altar as described in the Lexica Bananica is for creation of various runes. Simplest of these are those that which those which represent the elements. Interesting. Some clay and some mystical light gray flowers. Clay is quickly becoming an annoyingly scarce resource. Maybe you could put some clay in a pile with flour and pray. Some deity might answer your prayers. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That that is funny. Um, I'll worry about that in a little while, because I think I know what that is. Um, in fact, let's just go, let's go read our book. Um, oh yeah, I put our books in here. Let's see, Lexica Botanica, uh-huh, index, natural apparatus, functional flora, Claconia, simple flower in essence, all it does is moisten nearby sand, turning it into clay. This process uses a decent amount of mana, but nothing too insane. So it's going to take our mana, and if we place sand down, it turns it into clay. Um, kind of a nice, quick, and easy way of, of getting that stuff. Oh. Duh. Runic creation is rather important complex in the advancement of the botanical magics. First and foremost, though, this type of crafting requires a decent knowledge of mana manipulation. Before proceeding further, read through the important entries, those in italics, in the section Let's Go Bananica. Okay, runes. Alright, so I'm going to need to get myself a little more edumacated, because um, I don't know how that's going to work yet. Alright, guys. Well, I just, I could not let it go. I read the bejesus out of this Lexica Botanica, okay? I just read a ton. And I've decided our runic altar is going to go over here. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put this petal apothecary thing just yet. Um, but runic altar will go here. And basically, it looks like this thing operates much in the way that our petal apothecary works, only it also takes mana. Um, so basically, you throw your stuff into that thing. When it's got enough mana, you should be good. And then you throw some living rock at it, and boom, you've got yourself whatever rune you're trying to make. So um, as I continue doing my whole dirt replacement, I'm going to actually start over there because I want to move all of our um, uh, uh, Botania stuff I want to move all that over to my shrine, my little temple, um, which still just seems a little, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I need to try and make, make the roof a circle. Maybe that's what's bugging me. Um, but I'm going to start moving this stuff over there. Um, so let's take a look. Ooh, we got a berry. Beautiful. So now that we've got that squared away, we've figured that out. We haven't made progress on it, um, but we've we've made the decision. That's what we're going to do. Um, now that we've got that, and I also have enough essence, let's go ahead and do this whole uh, infusion stone jobby. Uh-huh. And mana pearl. Boom. Weak infusion stone. Yes, sir. Oh, and then we have to make weak essence? Holy pecker! Oh, skeleton soul seeds? What? Um, skeleton. Yes, essence of skeleton. Ooh. We can use for quite a few things. Essence of creeper? Oh, cool. We can get music discs. We can get all the music discs. Okay, we can get arrows. We can get skeleton skulls. Very useful. Yeah, that'll be what we do. Um, shoot. Well, you know what? Since we're basically going to have a skeleton farm, <laughs> let's go ahead and make ourselves let's make ourselves some more of this. So to get weak essence now, weak essence, weak essence. 
Uh huh. So four. And how many did we need here? We need one. So basically, I need three more. Oh, that's nothing. That is just nothing. Shh. I'm almost insulted to have to do these menial tasks. Not really. I, I like being able to accomplish things. It makes me happy. Humanity. We're driven by progress. Not actually accomplishing our goals, but it's progress that makes us happy. Bam. Uh-huh. And bam. There we go. I really... I need to put a stinking crafting table over there. <laughs> Uh, enough of this walking back and forth nonsense. I should actually, you know, maybe, I wonder if there's a way to do mobile crafting tables. I wonder. Okay, so weak essence, boom. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, how you like me now? Yep, pick one. I'll take the skeleton. Actually, I don't want to regret that. Um, skeleton. How do we make the seeds? The seeds are expensive. Okay, yeah, we're going to take the seeds. Thank you. <laughs> Dye seeds? Oh, <gasps> Copper? Cuprius conduction. I don't know if I'm saying that. Cuprius? Cuprius. Maybe. I've never seen that word before in my life. Maybe you'll find some traces of copper amongst the fragments of clay that you've dug up. So some clay, some orange... Thank you, fax machine! Good morning! How are we doing on string? Oh. Oh. Uh-huh. Yep. We have some string. Okay, beautiful. Um, let's go a little bit into here. Bound in print. So the book binder. I know. I'm sorry, guys. I am all over the place. I have... It's the challenge of being me. I have a ton of projects in my head. Um, and, yeah, <laughs> I almost can't decide what I want to do first. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just... I'm kind of going through experience drops and books. Okay. Oh, wow. That opened up quite a bit. Hold up with knowledge. Mighty smelting. What do these experience drops do? Well, let's sleep. Let's sleep and we'll find out. Let's get in here and let's get the materials in you book. And we'll turn it into that. And there you go. Are you happy? Thank you. So experience drops. No. Uh, experience drops. We can cook you into molten experience. <gasps> we can spawn a cow. I don't know how we will get leather. How can I get leather? I can kill some imps in the nether. Uh-huh. How do I get... I wonder how I get cow seeds. Nope. Um... Um, strength, regeneration, night vision, spider slime, cow, cow, aluminum coal, all right, where's cow, are there no cow seeds, there do not appear to be any cow seeds, wormwood, snowbell, wolfsbane, hmm, whale pecker, raw salmon, and the crucible furnace gives a chance for it. I don't know nothing about this. Nothing. Not a nothing. Oh, hello. Rotten flesh will turn into leather. Do I have any rotten flesh? Well, shoot, I have no rotten flesh. But we will have to remember that. It looks like a little bit of mana. And uh, that will turn into... Some lovely, lovely leather. We might be able to go down that path. That's kind of cool. All right, well, a decision has been made. We're going to go ahead. And we're going to go for that clay, the clay flower. Uh-huh, yeah, love that horn. Love that horn, baby. So, I figure we got plenty... We got plenty of this floral fertilizer, which is fantastic. Um, 
So we're going to go ahead. Boom, boom, boom. Now how much of that stuff do we need? How much of it do we need? Hey. Go back. Wasn't there. What it's made of? No. Where? There it is. Okay. 12 clay and 10 light gray. 10 light gray. Okay. Now, how we doing? Do I have any flowers in here? I have more fertilizer. Holy crap! Um, oh, you know what? I forgot. I put all of our dang flowers over here, didn't I? Yeah, definitely need to put some dirt over here. Don't worry. I'll do all that stuff off camera when I need to do a little meditating. My goal will be to get everything on this level done. That's what I'll do. Um, oh, wow, look at that. We have plenty of light gray. So now, whoops, give me that. In fact, we'll put one, two, three, because we needed ten, I believe. Uh-huh. Put you away. Beautiful. And then I think we needed ten clay. I don't know if I want to go dive into the ocean or not. That might be the fastest way to do it. Maybe. Let's see. Tell you what, I'm going to do a little ocean diving. And I'm only doing this off camera because I know you guys just absolutely cannot see when I'm down here. So I'll do this off camera. Okay. Well, I wasn't really able to find much in the way of clay and I tell you this quest just is starting to be a pain in my butt so we need 12 balls of clay um, I figured I'd break out my horn and some uh, bone meal and do stuff that way but apparently apparently the range on that thing is pretty impressive and oh look at that I almost didn't even have to go do any of it uh, manual submit, claim reward, thank you. Okay, so, that's a quick and easy way of getting clay. In fact, let's try it out. I think, I think if we just put it over here, in fact, let's go get some sand. I think it'll just draw from that mana pool, and we'll be fine. Um... Let's grab red sand, because that we have plenty of. All right, so our Clayconia is here. He has little twinkly sparkles, so I'm assuming that he's getting juice. Do you have juice? I can't tell. What happens if I do this? Oh, yeah. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Can you keep up? Can you keep up? How you doing? You alright? Yeah, you good. Cool! So that's a handy way of getting some clay. Very lovely. Um, not entirely sure what we're going to do with very much clay as of yet. Um, because I was looking through Tinker's Construct. I was thinking, okay, let me get a smeltery going. Um, we, we don't really have anything to smelt, but it would be nice to have and 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 be prepared but uh yeah can't make grout check it out we come over here grout can't do it i am grout ha <laughs> uh-huh 20 internet points if you know where that's from so i'm thinking what we're going to need and hopefully it's going to give us some stuff but we have to make these seared bricks so to make a seared brick obviously cooking the grout but I don't know what this is from. I don't know what mod this is. Is it Mariculture? Is that the thing? I hear a guy. I hear an Enderman. Is it an Endermini? Where'd you go? Where are you? Are you below? Betty's below. Let's go take a look. Okay, well that was all very rather stupid. I don't know where he is. No idea. I know there's an opening below us somewhere. 
in here? Nope. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that's uh, that's one thing I really need your guys' help on. I need you guys to let me know how the hell we are going to manage to kill an Enderman. All right, guys. Well, that is going to be, unfortunately, all the time we have for today. I know today's episode, a little bit derptastic. Um, <laughs> I, I basically had no structure. I... I popped on and I was just like, all right, let's just go do some stuff and have some fun. And, um, yeah, it got a little interesting. So thank you guys again very, very much. Really appreciate the support. Be sure to like be sure to like the video if you guys are enjoying this series. And as always, we'll see you in the next episode.